on. That's ten to okay. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. This is by an unknown author and is one of my favorite quotes. Space exploration has always been important to humankind because humankind has also always been creative and curious. I think that if we stopped exploring space, some of that creativity and curiosity would be lost. This speech is why I think it is very important that we keep exploring space. But first, I will give you a brief history of the space program. Hundreds of years ago, people still dreamt of flying in space, especially the ancient Greeks, because of their mythology based around constellations. Early designs of spaceships were much more comfy looking than what they actually are like. They had kitchens, lounges, and full-size beds. I can only imagine how disappointed they are now. NASA was created on October 1st, 1958. It was originally created to make weapons during the Cold War against Russia. After the war ended, the United States of America and Russia were engaged in the space race. This was the race to get the first person on the moon. Russia got a head start by launching the first satellite into orbit, and that was, satellite was called Sputnik. That it been launched in 1957, before NASA even existed. And then they also were ahead when they got the first human in space with Yuri Gagarin's launch in 1957. I mean, in 1961. But America pulled ahead and won the space race when Apollo 11 successfully landed on the moon in 1969. Because of this, space exploration started to be an area of interest. I will now state six reasons why I think space exploration should continue. First reason I want to talk about is education. The Teachers in Space program was announced in 1984. It was a program to help to help kids to inspire help inspire kids to become scientists and mathematicians by sending teachers into space to make educational videos. The first participant was Krista McAuliffe, who unfortunately died on, on the Challenger accident in 1986. After this, the program was canceled. But in 1988, NASA created the Educator Astronaut Program. Instead, the difference being that this required the, the teachers to become mission specialists. First participant of this was Barbara Morgan, the backup for Krista McAuliffe. Although this program doesn't exist anymore, astronauts still use their publicity to try to inspire kids. Resources. According to planetsave.com, the universe probably has unlimited resources. But the same cannot be said about Earth. Asteroid mining has been undertaken by the company Planetary Resources with their announcement to launch A3R. There are three types of asteroids which can be mined. C-type asteroids for water, S-type for metal, and M-type for metal and diamond. Astronomy. Astronomy is basically the study of space. Most of the famous astronomers that you may have heard of have never been to space. But I think if they did go to space, there could be some very important discoveries. Astronomy is also one of the oldest sciences, um, but due to recent-ish technological developments like the Hubble telescope, which was launched in 1990, we have been able to make some cool discoveries. Technology. Space exploration is responsible for many everyday things like Velcro, freeze-dried food, um, GPS or global positioning system, etc. Velcro was invented to strap things to the wall, the floor, and the ceiling because space has no gravity. Freeze-dried food weighs much less than normal food and is easier to store, decreasing the cost of fuel. One pound of something on the spaceship equals 24 pounds of fuel. GPS. GPS is a tracking system that is, that's, um, GPS is a satellite tracking system. So basically, if space exploration didn't exist, you couldn't play Pokemon Go. Um, inhabitation. Eventually, but not for a while, Earth will no longer be inhabitable due to climate change due to global warming. By the time that happens, if we can 
continue exploring space, we will be ready to go live on another planet. The most likely planet to live on first would be Mars, because it has good soil. Um, the atmosphere is thin, but it does protect from sun radiation. Um, you can use solar panels there, and the days are a similar length to Earth days. Fun. Space is also just fun when you, once you get past the risks. Since there is no gravity in space, you can do infinite backflips and front flips. You can also make water bubbles and drink out of the air with a straw. If you didn't use a straw, it would explode all over your face. <laughs> if space flight becomes less risky and becomes a commercial thing to do, it will probably be a very fun ride, not to mention the views. Overall, I think that we need to continue space exploration in order for humankind to survive. One Small Step for Man, One Giant Leap for Mankind by Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong actually meant to say something like, one small step for me, one giant leap for the human race. Even though he said it wrong, it still became famous. I think that shows that even mistakes can be good. Thank you.